It's happening. Nigerian army attacks Gumi. Tells him off. You can't do that. You know, Buhari and the rest have really emboldened this man, allowed him to roam free, somebody who should actually be in jail. This set of people called bandits, he said that they are just Fulani men who have found another way of making money. That's what he said. So when you say bandit, it was it is not my words, it's not an alleged. An alleged information is something that is making rounds, possibly could be true, but has not been verified. Now Kumi himself said that the Fulani headsmen are just Fulani, the bandits are just Fulani headsmen who have found another way of making quick money. This man has been their spokesman. He knows where they are. He knows who they are. Yet, so how can you say you are trying to fight bandits and yet you know their source, you are going nowhere? You cannot uh, say, I want to remove a tree and begin to trim the, the, the leaves and begin to cut the trunk. Listen, you are only pruning it to become better. It will grow mightier than you can imagine. If you want to take down a tree, you go straight for the root. <laughs> Nigerian government are really playing. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Thank you. Nigerian army attack Gumi. The Nigerian army as described as sad and unfortunate. The comments made by the renowned Islamic clergy, Ahmed Gumi, that security personnel are conniving with bandits. When he appeared on Arise TV on Wednesday, Gumi accused some security personnel of giving arms armed gangs wrecking havoc across the country a soft landing. He said gunmen would not have had access to weapons without the support of some security personnel. But reacting to the allegation, Army Spokesman Brigadier General Oyema Uchechuku described it as a circulated attempt and a calculated attempt to demoralize the Nigerian military and undermine the sacrifice of the troops. He also called on the opinion of the leaders to demonstrate patriotism and build peace across the country rather than being agents of destabilization, therefore thereby aggravating the current security challenges facing the nation. He said the Nigerian army has just been alerted to a submission by Gumi when he featured on Arise TV morning show on Wednesday, 23rd June 2021, alleging that the Nigerian military is condoling and romancing with bandits who have been responsible for various crime and atrocities across Nigeria and Nigerian states. The Nigerian army wishes to state that, contrary to Gumi's claim, the Nigerian army remains a bona fide symbol of national unity that condoles its constitutional responsibility in the most professional manner, in line with the global best practice of adhesion to the rules of engagement and protection of fundamental human rights and of citizens. The sweeping allegations paddling by the scholar, who is not only, which is not only sad and unfortunate, but a calculated attempt to demoralize the Nigerian military and undermine the sacrifice of our patriotic troop who have been working tirelessly to restore peace and stability in the country. It is essential, essential to remind ourselves that this same military being accused of conniving are the ones who recently put their lives on the line to rescue adoptees of the government's secondary school from kidnappers. Now the Nigerian army will not attempt to excuse the possibility of black sheep among its folds. It must be stated categorically clear that it will not condone any form of sabotage or aiming to as to as assess it as enemy to anybody as a provision of dealing diligently and rising to our duty as the constitution has provided it must also be pointed out that why the military is very much 
receptive to constructive t- criticism. It should not be perceived as a gateway for demo- derogatory comments that have been that have the potential of emboldening criminals. It is also necessary to restrain the patriotism of people and to be able to co- speak in the barest minimum of what it sees on ground. We will not condo what Gomi has said, and we will say categorically clear, the Nigerian army is not such a people. Do you know if some other persons that have made this statement, Nigerian army will be inviting the person to Abuja, um, CSS and SSS, all that, will be inviting the person. You know this um, this bias we have, religious bias, oh, he's a, he's a clergy, he's this, he's that. Yet, these are the very people who goes to the very criminals talk with them and come back and tell Nigerians what the government wants to do. And nobody's saying anything. You know them. Why can't the government hold him responsible, ask him to go and bring out these people? Or he will get it. If you, if, if you, don't, if you don't speak, if you don't, um, that means there is something really wrong. There is something really wrong. So why do everybody keep quiet and pretend that all is well when somebody is wrong it is it is it is something that is unimaginable you see this thing you know this thing is wrong everybody knows everybody accepts that it is wrong but yet everybody is pretending like it is well you speak then you get the religious parts oh you cannot do that oh you have done what you should not do you have you have poked the, you have touched the, the honeycomb, you have done this. Excuse me, this what this man is doing is wrong. Somebody who goes to them knows them. Eh? Somebody who knows what they are doing. I mean, somebody who knows their hideout. Know where the children are kept. You come back to say, they told me that uh, they won't run somebody, want to sign a deal with the government. They want the government to give them contracts of protecting our farmlands and the people then there will be peace. Is it not the same? Half a dozen and six, what's the difference? Half a dozen and six, what's the difference? So who is deceiving who? You know, at times I I, I try to get these people with their rationale and their way of thinking and I'm wondering, are you okay? Leave us a comment, we really like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.